Do you like to speed read or wish you could read faster? I'm Callie Lewis. Let me show you the brand new app, Read Quick. If you're interested in being able to quickly read all the news and articles you want on your way to work on the train or bus or at the gym, wherever, take a look at Read Quick. It's available for the iPad only for now. Hopefully more options are on their way. Now, there are a couple of speed reading apps already in iTunes, the most popular probably being Quick Reader at $5. All the apps I've found will display an entire page of text and it'll calculate your rate of speed when you click the continue or the next page button. But here's the problem I encounter anytime I've tried to get into speed reading with this method. I get distracted by all the other words on the page. You have to force yourself to trace the line with your eyes without jumping ahead. And for some reason, the whole process of speed reading causes me to want to jump ahead. And I don't think I'm the only one. Please tell me I'm not. <laughs> now, the major difference you'll notice with the new Read Quick app is that it'll give you only one word at a time. Before you begin, you set your words per minute and then it'll speed along at that rate while you relax your eyes and just concentrate on taking it all in. Most people can naturally read, they say, at about 250 words per minute. As you practice and get better, you can adjust that up or down and maybe get to like 700 words per minute. You let me know if you can do that because I certainly can't, <laughs> but I'm getting better. It took a couple of times for me to get used to this method, but I did wind up really liking it. So let's talk about how you load articles to read. At launch, they have a few featured sources like long reads, the feature and more, and I'm sure they'll be adding more as often as they can. Each article will tell you how long it'll take to read at your current rate of speed. Double tap to begin reading or to stop. If you add it to your favorites, you can pull it up later when you're ready to read it, whether you're online or or offline. If you use Instapaper, you can pull up all your articles via the Read Quick app. Now, they don't have the ability to pull in any RSS feed you want. I hope they'll be able to work in the ability to pull from Google Reader, for example, in the future. But if you know you want to read a specific GeekBeat article, you can just browse directly to the site and add the article. It'll strip out all the extras, so just the text remains. All in all, it's a great app that pushed me to, well, push myself. It's called Read Quick, and it's in the iOS app store. For more reviews, be sure to subscribe to GeekBeat in iTunes or on YouTube at youtube.com slash geekbeattv. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, too, if you got them. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye.